Hello, today we're going to learn how to do some basic coloring. I also like to call it color blocking. Yes, I just made that up, but it's basically making blocks of colors. Here's the BMW template I just opened up. Just uh, made a base color layer, deleted the alpha note there, no reason to use it. And now I'm going to paint, paint that base color blue and make sure to turn the ambient occlusion to multiply so that the blue goes and shows through that. Next I'll create a hood layer and I'm going to paint that green. I'm going to go ahead and cover the whole thing and then what we're going to do, we're going to use the pen tool today. And the shortcut for that is P for pen. And I'm now I'm doing single clicks around the hood so that I can go ahead and create that path with the pen tool. After I finish creating the path, I'm going to right click that path and select create vector mask. And as you can see on the right, we have white showing what we can see and gray, basically graying everything else out. Next, I'm going to color the roof or the roof or the roof. Any way you put it, I'm doing it. This time, we're going to go ahead and create the path with a pen tool first and then color it in. You could do it either way. But make sure what you, uh, whatever you want to affect is selected in the layers. And if you don't, then you might have to redo it later on. As you can see here with the pen tool, I'm sometimes I'm clicking and dragging to get those handles out so I could go around those curves there. It's a nice technique to be able to uh, select some pretty tricky situations sometimes with these skins. Now that I've closed that up, I'm going to make sure my layer is selected, right click the path, and create vector mask. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with some red I see there. Nice choice. As you can see on the bottom there, I made a little mistake. How convenient. And I'm going ahead and use the selection tool. That is A, shortcut A, and make sure it's the uh, white selection tool there on the left and I'm just going to click and drag those nodes up to correct everything. And as you can see, we are finished color blocking and that's probably the best way to uh, color in a set of cores. As using this method, we can adjust it as necessary in case we need to include other parts, take away parts, and things like that. 